Hello, today we'll be going through practice questions 101 to 110 for the CompTIA Cytoplast exam. Let's begin. The security analyst received the monthly vulnerability report. The following findings were included in the report. Five of the systems only required a reboot to finalize the patch application. Two of the servers are running outdated operating systems and cannot be patched. The analyst determines that the only way to ensure these servers cannot be compromised is to isolate them. Which of the following approaches will best minimize the risk of the outdated servers being compromised? The correct answer is A. Compensating controls When servers cannot be patched due to outdated operating systems, Compensating controls, such as network isolation, strict firewall rules, or enhanced monitoring, are implemented to reduce the risk of compromise by limiting exposure and attack vectors. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Due diligence. Due diligence refers to the care taken to meet obligations, but is not a direct security control to reduce risk. C. Maintenance windows. These are scheduled periods for applying patches or updates, which is not applicable here since the servers can't be patched. D. Passive discovery. This involves monitoring or scanning without active probing. It does not reduce risk or protect vulnerable servers. Therefore, the correct answer is A. An incident response analyst is taking over an investigation from another analyst. The investigation has been going on for the past few days. Which of the following steps is most important during the transition between the two analysts? The correct answer is C. Review the steps that the previous analyst followed. When taking over an ongoing investigation, the most important step is to thoroughly review the work already completed, the methods, evidence collected, and analysts performed to understand the current status, avoid duplication, and maintain continuity. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Identify and discuss the lessons learned with the prior analyst. Lessons learned are usually conducted after the incident is resolved, not during analyst transition. B. Accept all findings and continue to investigate the next item target. Blinding accepting findings without review risks missing errors or gaps. D. Validate the root cause from the prior analyst. Root cause validation is important but comes after understanding the investigation steps. Initially, you need context before validating conclusions. Therefore, the correct answer is C. A recent penetration test discovered that several employees were enticed to assist attackers by visiting specific websites and running downloaded files when prompted by phone calls. Which of the following would best address this issue? The correct answer is A. Increasing training and awareness for all staff. The issue described is a classic social engineering attack where employees are tricked into visiting malicious sites and running harmful files. The best defense is to improve user training and awareness so employees recognize and resist these tactics. Why the other options are incorrect? B. Ensuring that malicious websites cannot be visited. While helpful, it's nearly impossible to block all malicious sites completely, especially with constantly changing URLs. C. Blocking all scripts downloaded from the internet. This might disrupt legitimate work and is hard to enforce without impacting productivity. D. Disabling all staff members' ability to run downloaded applications. This is too restrictive and impractical for normal business operations. Therefore, the correct answer is A. A security administrator has been notified by the IT operations department that some vulnerability reports contain an incomplete list of findings. Which of the following methods should be used to resolve this issue? The correct answer is A. Credential scan. A credential scan uses valid login credentials to access systems and perform deeper vulnerability checks. This method provides a more complete and accurate list of findings, especially for vulnerabilities that require internal access, resolving the issue of incomplete reports. Why the other options are incorrect? B. External scan. External scans only access systems from outside the network and miss internal vulnerabilities. C. Differential scan. 
Differential scanning compares changes between scans, but does not inherently improve completeness of findings. D. Network scan. Network scans detect open ports and services, but may not fully identify vulnerabilities without credentials. Therefore, the correct answer is A. An organization enabled a SIEM rule to send an alert to a security analyst distribution list when 10 failed logins occur within one minute. However, the control was unable to detect an attack with 9 failed logins. Which of the following best represents what occurred? The correct answer is C. False negative. A false negative occurs when an attack or malicious activity happens but is not detected by the security control. In this case, the attack had 9 failed logins, just below the alert threshold of 10. So the system missed the event, resulting in a false negative. Why the other options are incorrect? A. False positive. This is when the system generates an alert for benign activity, not missing an actual attack. B. True negative. This means no alert was generated because no attack occurred, which is not the case here. D. True positive. An alert was generated correctly for a real attack, which did not happen here. Therefore, the correct answer is C. A cybersecurity analyst is tasked with scanning a web application to understand where the scan will go and whether there are URIs that should be denied access prior to more in-depth scanning. Which of the following best fits the type of scanning activity requested? The correct answer is B. Discovery scan. A discovery scan is used to map out the structure of a web application identifying accessible URIs, directories, and resources to understand where a deeper scan will go. This helps in determining which parts should be excluded or restricted before performing in-depth vulnerability scanning. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Uncredentialed scan. This refers to scanning without logging credentials and does not specifically focus on mapping application structure. C. Vulnerability scan. This looks for security weaknesses, but discovery scanning is typically done before vulnerability scanning to map the target. D. Credential scan. A scan performed with credentials to gain deeper access is about depth, not initial discovery of URIs. Therefore, the correct answer is B. Which of the following best describes the process of requiring remediation of a known threat within a given time frame? The correct answer is A. SLA. A service level agreement defines specific performance and remediation expectations, including the requirement to address known threats within a given time frame. It formalizes commitments between parties to ensure timely responses. Why the other options are incorrect? B. MOU. An MOU is a non-binding agreement outlining general terms of cooperation, not specific remediation timelines. C. Best effort patching. This is an informal approach without guaranteed timelines or enforcement. D. Organizational governance. Governance sets broad policies and oversight but does not specify enforceable remediation deadlines like an SLA. Therefore, the correct answer is A. Which of the following risk management principles is accomplished by purchasing cyber insurance? The correct answer is D. Transfer. Purchasing cyber insurance transfers the financial risk of a cybersecurity incident to a third party, which is the essence of the risk transfer principle. Why the other options are incorrect? A. Accept. Accepting risk means consciously deciding to live with the risk without action. B. Avoid. Avoiding risk means eliminating the activity causing the risk. C. Mitigate. Mitigation involves reducing the likelihood or impact of risk through controls, not transferring it. Therefore, the correct answer is D. A recent audit of the vulnerability management program outlined the finding for increased awareness of secure coding practices. Which of the following would be best to address the finding? The correct answer is A. Establish quarterly SDLC training on the top vulnerabilities for developers. To increase awareness of secure coding practices, regular training focused on the SDLC and common vulnerabilities is the most effective approach. 
Quarterly sessions help keep developers updated and reinforce best practices. Why the other options are incorrect. B. Conduct a yearly inspection of the code repositories and provide the report to management. While useful for compliance, annual inspections are too infrequent to raise ongoing developer awareness. C. Hire an external penetration test of the network. Penetration testing focuses on identifying vulnerabilities, not educating developers on secure coding. D. Deploy more vulnerability scanners for increased coverage. Scanners help find vulnerabilities but don't directly improve developer awareness or coding skills. Therefore, the correct answer is A. An analyst is conducting routine vulnerability assessments on the company infrastructure. When performing these scans, a business-critical server crashes and the cause is traced back to the vulnerability scanner. Which of the following is the cause of this issue? The correct answer is B. The scanner is running in active mode. Active vulnerability scanning involves sending probes and exploit attempts to systems, which can overload or crash sensitive, business-critical servers. This explains why the server crashed during the scan. Why the other options are incorrect. A. The scanner is running without an agent installed. Agentless scanning is common and does not usually cause crashes by itself. C. The scanner is segmented improperly. Improper segmentation might block scans or cause incomplete results but typically wouldn't crash a server. D. The scanner is configured with a scanning window. A scanning window limits scan timing to reduce impact. It doesn't cause a server crash. Therefore, the correct answer is B. We have come to the end of today's video. If you liked the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye.